Hi guys, quick chat about how meal planning relates to the obesity epidemic and just where it fits. For those who are curious, hang around for a few minutes and I'll show you how you can get your hands on a free trial of Mealsy just to test it out for yourself. So guys, can meal planning help to save Australia some of the $88 billion that it's projected obesity is going to cost us by 2032? Now, I know what you're thinking. Of course, the guy that built meal planning software uh, is going to say that uh, you know, meal planning is going to help with that. Um, but I mean, I would have been, wouldn't have invested a whole heap of my own money in building the software if I didn't believe in meal planning in the first place. Now, is it the silver bullet? No, of course not. It's just one of the many tools that I think we need to adopt to, to really help, you know, turn the tide of what we're seeing in terms of these chronic conditions as a result of the obesity epidemic. But it is a really great tool, and the reason it's a great tool is because the enemy of weight loss is hunger. Okay, when you're trying to lose weight, hunger is, is the enemy because the body responds when you lose weight. There's a, there's a, a mechanism where it drives hunger through an increase in certain hormones um, and a decrease in certain other hormones, and basically it's the body's way of trying to defend a level of fat because the body thinks, hey, I'm starving. It doesn't think oh, I'm intentionally trying to lose weight. And so what happens is we get this hunger, and then inevitably we eat and we put the weight back on. The idea with meal planning is that you're making decisions before hunger begins to influence that decision. Okay, so with meal planning, you've planned out your meals. The next step is to prep it. And so you've prepped those meals and then it still doesn't guarantee that you're going to be perfect, but you're mitigating the chances of, of you know, overeating or, or putting that weight back on as a response to making decisions through hunger. So meal planning, I think, is a really great tool to try and really uh, improve people's health. Now, Health Canada, way back in 2013, they actually identified this and they had a whole campaign aimed at trying to improve people's uh, meal planning strategy. They saw meal planning as a skill, one of the key skills to really try and turn the tide of uh, the health of Canadians. And so they, they set out with this campaign to try and promote meal planning and, um, you know, they, they identified that the reduced stress, reduced food wastage, but most importantly, it was all about improving pe people's health. And we do know also with meal planning, they can save you time. When you, when you uh, meal plan, you're, you're batching all those decisions around food rather than trying to do them every single day at every single meal. And so it can save you time. But one of the hurdles that got missed was that, you know, to actually plan takes time. And so that was the hurdle with meal planning is that when, you know, you're encouraging people to meal plan, um, it in itself can take too long and that can be a barrier, particularly someone's never done it before and, you know, they don't have the recipes to call on. And hence, of course, yes, this is where Mealsy comes in. This is where a product like Mealsy can really help. So now we can meal plan in, in mere minutes or seconds and you can create a plan for your family uh, and, you know, that, that, that time element is really taken out of it. And so I'll give a really quick demo here. So this is if I was meal planning for my family. Um, I could put in, um, you know, how many calories I want. You can adjust that. I've got four kids, so there's six of us. So we have dinners. I've got six serves there. So all of those dinner meals are going to, there's going to be uh, six serves. Um, my wife and I tend to have the breakfast ourselves. The kids tend to have cereal or toast or fruit or yogurt. So that's easy enough to manage. Um, the lunches, uh, and my wife and I, and then snacks of my wife and I. Now, I've gone for simple uh, recipes. Um, I do tend to go for high protein. Um, and then some of the kids won't touch capsicum or onions, so I've just excluded them. I hit the auto-generate button, and my meal planning can essentially be done. So that will spin up a meal plan now. It does it in you know, under five seconds. I can now come and make a few changes to that. I can edit that, move things around, not a problem. Um, but that is essentially my meal planning done. It really doesn't take long. So as you can see, um, you know, we, we can meal plan quite effectively now. Um, it shouldn't be a barrier because there's great tools out there like Mealsy that can really save you time in doing it. Uh, it's a great asset if you're really trying to improve your health. Yes, it is not the silver bullet. There's so many other things that need to be implemented, good sleep, exercise. But, uh, you know, if, if you're... Um, you know, wanting to improve your health or essentially improve your eating, meal planning should really be a key part of that. Now, for anyone watching this, um, I'm happy to actually uh, give you a free credit so you can trial meals and just, you know, get a feel for it to see how easy it is.
Um, so you can drop me a, a comment here wherever you're watching it, or you can message me on Facebook um, or email me at chrisandmealsy.com. And I'll run you through it and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to do some meal planning um, and you know show that we can save some time and improve the decisions around food. Thanks.